in the barrel. Next is mother and her son. The mother and her son are standing beside their car. Next is the quick brown fox jumped over the, the lazy dog. That's a very, very new sentence, if you know what I mean. All those sentences have prepositions and pre prepositional phrase in them. So let's explore what really is a preposition. So preposition, a preposition is a word that shows how a noun or a pronoun is related to other words, to the, some other words in the sentence. So it presents relationship, the location of the word to begin with, and it connects, it connects the word to the rest of the sentence. It makes the sentence move, sound, uh, sound smoother, not only by sound, of course, but also by meaning. So here are the fr frequently used prepositions. Aboard, among, between, from, over, underneath, about, around, beyond, in the past, until, above, at, but, into, since, unto, across, before, by, through, up, after, behind, down, near, throughout, upon, against, during, of, of, to, with, along, beneath, exact, of, toward, within, amid, beside, beside for, on, under, and without. Now, those are the frequently used prepositions, but definitely there are still a lot out there. So, some prepositions are not single words. They are compound. They consist of more than one word, but they function as a single term. So, according to, by the way, of, in spite of, despite of, or despite a mean, uh, it's a single word. I was associating it with, an, with in spite of. Out of, as for, except for, instead of, regardless of, and because of. Those are taken as a single, uh, a single unit. Um, they are used as, sing as a single preposition. So uh, let's look into the concept of prepositional phrase. Allow me to move myself somewhere. So a prepositional phrase consists of a preposition. Uh, it's noun or pronoun object and any modifier of the verb. So a prepositional phrase would not make sense without its object. And its object is either a noun or a pronoun. So the moon, an example is the moonlight shone through the open window. The preposition here is, yes, you're correct, it's through, while the object is window, that's correct. So the and open are two modifiers, okay? So next is, the object of the preposition is a noun or pronoun that completes the prepositional phrase. Uh, a preposition must always have an object. Imagine, uh, for example, I'm going to give you a sentence. I am going to give a gift to my period. So you don't even know the object or the recipient of the object, of the gift, I mean. So that means you need an object. I am going to give a gift to my daughter. So that means the daughter is the object. So example, he makes me lie, uh, he makes me lie down in green pastures. Uh, a preposition may have a compound object as well. There is no friendship between him and her. Pronouns uses objects of the preposition must always be in the objective case because they're objects. They cannot be in subjective case. Next. So, we talked about this already. Now, let's go to the correct usage of prepositions. We have to admit that uh, prepositions can be challenging. So, in that case, uh, the correct usage of prepositions is very relevant and very important. Okay, so now let's go to the correct usage of prepositions. We have to admit that using prepositions can be challenging. So, uh, let's look into some of the commonly uh, commonly mistaken prepositions and it doesn't mean that they sound the same that you could use them interchangeably so let's explore these 
first on the list is in and into. In signifies position with, while into indicates change of position. So when you say in, you are already in that position. And into means change of position. That means it could be from the outside going to the inside or from the inside going to the outside. So um, into the parking lot. Yeah, it's possible. It's, but it, it's changing. There's movement. We're okay with that. So example for in. Melissa and Jericho deposited their man money where? In Kimlo's account. So it's there in Kimlo's account. I'm staying uh, I'm staying in Pampanga. So where? In Pampanga. I'm not saying into Pampanga. Not unless I'll be I'll be doing a movement and I'll be able to come up with the context. Chinka walked into the, into her room. That means from the outside, she went inside or into her room. Next is between and among. I usually encounter this. I often see people having mistakes using these two prepositions. Between is usually only used for two persons or things, while among is used for more than two. Okay? So the truce was between Angelo and Fritzi. So you only have two Angelo and Fritzi. Isabel stands out among her colleagues. So we have Isabel being compared. Are being noted as to be standing among her colleagues that means there is just more there is more than two uh, colleagues and you're also considering Isabel so there are more people involved here so if you're talking about two people use between if you're talking about more than two people if that includes three you are going to use among next is beside and besides so beside and besides are two different concepts even if they they practically they practically only have the letter s um the letter s as an addition for uh, for their difference okay so the side denotes at the side of or next to the side position you're next to the sides with an s is an addition to okay i'm standing beside you beside you next to you uh, besides your gift, what do you have for me? So, besides, uh, in addition to, okay? Professing their love, Frank and Lovena kneel beside their children. Beside, next to their children. Aaron Lee performs magic besides his ordinary tricks. So, aside from his ordinary tricks, in addition to his ordinary tricks, he can perform magic. Next is from and of, of. Of is the OF, I mean. So from and off. From is used to indicate the person or place where something is obtained, while off means away from. From is the source, and off is moving away from. So the important documents were obtained from whom? From Mirna. So the source is Mirna. Ray and Chen Chen jumped off the bed. So they came from the bed and they moved away from that place next is differ with and differ from differ with indicates disagreement in opinion while differ from means differences between persons and things so differ with with the with it's about opinions and ideas while from is about persons and things so the career brothers differ with the ascension siblings in terms of reviewing the case so that means they have one point of disagreement and one point of difference that is reviewing the case but on the other hand use clothes differ from each other in style we're talking about specific things okay so the first one is the act opinion or the idea the next refers to the persons or things in and on oh my god these are these terms these prepositions are the most challenging on earth in and on, in is used before months or year. Always remember that the, the, when you say in, you're referring to something bigger in context, in terms of time. While on is used before days and date. Kumbaga shorter siya. So we could just probably be reminded that in, letter I, is longer, longer than O, and O is just a dot. Specific, in, longer, longer months, longer year. On specific date or day also to 
it on is also used to indicate contact with the surface that means on on my face on the table so it's on top on the surface you can say in the table if you're gonna put it in the table that means there should be a drawer giving access to the inside part do you get it so on the box you're sitting on the box you are on top of the box but if you're in the box you're inside the box Neil and I will be celebrating our anniversary in June. When? In June. June, an entire month. Lian and Leon place their ma magic glasses on the dining table, on top of the dining table, not inside the dining table. Clear? Okay, next. Compare with and compare to. Compare with is used for qualities and characteristics, something that deals with abstract concepts just like what we mentioned with differ with well compared to is to illustrate so example compare this radio with other machines you compare this specific object with the, the traits or characteristics of other things while compared to other schools like you're trying to present to show a, a specific example we are quite we are doing quite well Next is angry with an angry at. So even if we're angry, we would we should still sound correct. <laughs> so when you're angry with, it's with a person. Angry at the condition. One is angry with a person and angry at the situation or condition. Or they became angry with the customer. The men were angry at the delay. She was angry <clears throat> with her boyfriend. She was angry with her boyfriend's action. So, uh, those are two different things. <clears throat> Next is likeness if. For likeness if, you don't use them in interchangeably <clears throat> because these two are dif different in function. Like is used for prep, is used to present a phrase, a prepositional phrase. And as in this F is for clauses, okay? So, example of a correct use is the wombat looks somewhat like a beaver. Like a beaver. That's a prepositional phrase. Incorrect. It looks like we arrived early. You can't use like there. It should be, it looks like as if we arrived early. Because we are talking about clauses. Incorrect. You should write the poem exactly as it is. No, that's not correct because it is it is written as a clause. It should be you should write the poem exactly as it is written. Be clear with that. Okay. So this one is um, an important part, so you better uh, listen well. So in July, we're talking about in again in referring to something big in context. In terms of time and also in place in July in 2004 in the morning in the drawer in Ohio in Pampanga in the cookie jar in the library stacks singing in the rain in the Philippines in his pocket in bed in class in school in time which means to participate in an activity in love in the envelope inside within the boundaries okay so for on on top like on surface or on the exact time uh, on the menu on the library shelf on saturday exact day on september 9 1999 on union street on the weekend on the roof a ring on her finger on an article in education on the moon on earth you can be in earth you'll be if you can survive with the heat of the mantle and the core, go ahead. But you can't. On occasion, on time, meaning punctual. On foot, on the couch. Um, knock on the door. You can't. You can't knock in the door because that means you have to, to have a hole. Put your hand inside and knock. And the address on the envelope. On the envelope, that means on the surface of the envelope. It's written outside. On the paper itself but when you say it's in the envelope you open the envelope then you find the paper inside at is for exact time at eight o'clock 
at home at a party at night at work at a specific address like at 314 lock, block 3 lot 5 don niya Julian Street so for your sit work or even for an online task right now uh, just since we are about to end our discussion for today please write sentences wherein you could use the prepositions based on the picture that we have here this picture and this picture so just try to describe the places the pictures okay so if you have more questions feel free to ask questions in the comment section so that's it for the prepositions i hope you've learned don't forget to subscribe bye bye